What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. I'm John the Video Guy and in this video tutorial I'm going to be going over the best Premiere Pro export settings for your YouTube videos here in 2022. If you're new here I post weekly videos on Premiere Pro and After Effects so feel free to subscribe and hit the like button. Without further ado let's dive into export settings. So one of the first things you'll notice in the new export mode is that you have the ability to actually add a channel. So you can click on the YouTube button here and underneath the publish tab, you can actually sign into your account and choose your channel. You can include important information such as the title, description, and tags. Now just a heads up guys, I tried this out with my own channel and if you overwhelm the dialog boxes a lot with information, it sometimes doesn't work. So what I recommend doing is just add in simple information, maybe a title, choose unlisted from the privacy settings, and it should work out fine. You can always fill in the information later. Adobe might fix this in the future with future updates of Premiere Pro, so just keep your eyes peeled. First, change the format to H.264 if it's not already selected. Next, let's go into the video tab and what you'll want to do is click this match source button and this will automatically match the source sequence settings. That way you are exporting what you edited from your timeline. Now, if you're wondering, you know, am I exporting correctly or did I set up my sequence correctly? You can always go back into the edit pane, go to sequence, sequence settings to check if you're editing in 4K 1920 and to change your frame rates and color space. Now back in the export mode inside encoding settings, change performance to hardware encoding. And then under profile, uncheck mark that and change it from main to high. Then scroll down to bitrate. Now you can change this from VBR one pass to VBR two pass, but just keep in mind that two pass takes a little longer. I recommend just sticking with VBR one pass. And the target bitrate is something that you'll want to change and keep in mind. Now I did link an article down below to YouTube's recommended encoding settings. Feel free to go click on that. But here on the screen, you'll notice that when we scroll down, there's a few different recommendations depending on the frame rate and your resolution. So in my case, I'm shooting at 1080. So I'm looking at this box right here, 10 megabits per second. I shot at 24 frames a second, so a low frame rate. If you shot in a higher resolution or a higher frame rate, you want to look at these over here. So feel free to change that setting to depending on what type of footage you edited in. Now you might be wondering inside here under preset, there's a YouTube button. It's important to realize that Adobe and Premiere Pro don't automatically update YouTube's encoding policy in their software. So it's important to do your own due diligence to really check YouTube settings and really look into what they want. Now let's move on to audio. So when you untwirl audio, the recommended format is AAC and a 320 kilobit bitrate is pretty solid for a stereo channel output for YouTube. And lastly, but not least important is if we are smart, we want to make a preset of this so that we can use it later. So in your export mode panel, click on the dot, dot, dot and go to save preset. And you can name it something like best export settings for YouTube and then click OK. So that's how you set up your export settings for YouTube videos. And if you have any questions, feel free to add comments down below. I'll answer to the best of my ability. Now YouTube's just one platform, but if you are wondering how MOVs work and maybe other file formats, feel free to go check out this video up here. That might interest you. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.